Hi, this is Lady Beaver here. Today on our Nerd Adventures, we're finally opening up all 18 of the Disney minifigs. Um, so, I'm excited. Are you excited? Because I finally got all of them. There are a couple that are in open packages, so I'll probably open those ones up first. Um, you will obviously be seeing doubles of uh, what I opened up in my hunt and opening um, when I did that last month so yeah I finally got them so I'm happy I'm guessing you're happy I hope you've been able to get all the things that you want and we can get started yay okay so as you can see these are the Disney minifigs if you're totally new to this game. Um, basically Lego releases minifig series and this is, um, this is only the third time that they've done something that isn't just their own um, minifig normal series. There was um, Simpsons and there was the Lego movie which is I do count that as something a little bit different. There is also like the other sports related ones but I don't really count them because they aren't aren't available in every country so we are going to be opening up these ones today so all 18 so let me know in the comments below what your favorite minifigure is out of this particular series because there are some good ones so we're going to start off with um, some of these um, more uh, sorry what am I saying? So I'm going to bring you down so that you can see it a little bit better and um, we're going to start opening up at least the ones that are already <laughs> um, flying around um, this box already. Um, oh, and I might just get my little stool here and we're going to come back and we're going to start opening up. Okay, so we're back. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing actually a space a spaceship odyssey with benny this is a new t-shirt that i got um, from a place called rip tees and they are pretty cool so this one's one of the opened ones that um, i told you about so we're going to start off with our mini i got this in the last set um she's pretty cool because she does come with the molded skirt which i actually particularly like um, as you can see, she's also got these amazing, like, little, um, bloomers, or you can think of them maybe as tights or something like that, um, really good, um, legs, um, on this figure, um, good for, um, all the, um, like, people that make, like, other different types of minifigs out of all their stuff, um, for, like, their towns and everything like that, so another good, like, type of, like, leg accessory kind of thing. So this is our mini. We did get her in the previous lot, but she is pretty adorable. Um, she's got eyelashes on her face, um, on her eyes, I should say. Um, she comes with the spotted bow, the spotted skirt, which I really like because I've never seen this. They've only ever, I've only ever seen like the, the. I, I think they're pretty gross. The um, fabric dresses or skirts, and that is our mini. Okay, so next, this is our next one. Ah. And this is, oh, there we go, last piece, our Donald. Donald is actually really cool because he comes with a tail piece, which I think is absolutely adorable. I love his sailor shirt. I don't know, something about Donald is just like too cute. And he comes with this most adorable little sailor hat as well because you can't be Donald without his uh, sailor hat, his sailor shirt. He is actually, like, I didn't think I would like these molded ones very much, like the molded heads, um, as I said in my previous video, but after seeing this guy, damn, he is way too cute to not like. Um, and I love his, um, his, his legs. That looks like that's actually molded, um, that's, that's, um, dual molding down there, because you can tell by the back, uh, how it goes over the, the um, circle piece. Uh, slot I should say um, and yeah he is absolutely adorable and I'm really happy to add him to my collection okay oh I see what this one is and this is our oh almost forgot her tail this is our daisy <laughs> okay so another one with 
the um, tail piece. Now I've seen a lot of YouTubers um, put up the, the put the tail the wrong way. Um, make sure that the pointed part, like the tail feather part, is actually pointing up, and the smooth round um, like half circle is on like is pointed down to the bottom. So now Daisy also has. Um, dual molded legs and also dual molded arms um, which I'm just looking at now uh, but she also has some printing on her feet for her shoes because she wears high heels in her cartoon form as you can see now um, as you can see there's her dual molded arms she's got a pretty basic um, um, torso piece because she pretty much just wears a purple shirt but you might not see that because my lighting in here is horrible because it's a very dark day and I have to put the overhead light on. Uh, I see, I'm not even getting, um, so yeah, so, so, um, so that would be a really good, um, as like a nurse's scrubs, um, piece or something like that. So that is, she's pretty cool, nowhere near as cool as Donald, but that's okay. We'll give her, we'll give her that. <laughs> okay. His, um, because he was an open bag, his um, his upper body piece had gone missing in there. So he has actually got quite a number of parts more than all the others. He has um, his um, upper body part, his helmet. If I can get that in, because I remember this being difficult last time. Okay, and then he's also got two wings um, that we can just slot in real easy. Is totally adorable. Um, now on my friend's um, my friend's um, channel of Wild Lion X, um, she shows the comparison with him and um, his counterpart from the, the Toy Story 3 series. So you should check that out. But she did mention one. She forgot to mention one thing that's different is that he actually has his laser on this arm instead. Uh, he is a, a quite a, quite a bit different, but then not so different in many ways as well. But I think he is the better looking version just because he has a human face and um, and he just it just represents so well um, with this particular figure. Um, as you can see, he just looks really, really good um, all the way around. Like all the details are correct um, and all of that. So he is one of my favorites out of this series. But I'm sure there's something else that I like a lot more better than him. <laughs> okay, so I think that's all of my unopened packs. So now we get into the juicy stuff. Now we get to actually open up some, some bags here now. So let me just get some of the rubbish out of the way. And we're going to start by the middle. Ah, it's our stitch. Okay. So this was the most oh shit. <laughs> um, Stitch was probably the most hyped out of this particular collection. Um, he is absolutely cute. I got him in the previous lot that um, I opened up, but I'm very happy that I've gotten another one. So that's just there we go. As you can see, his molding is absolutely spot on. It's totally perfect. His ears, everything is proportionate, right? I love his little toe printing. And then as we flip him around, he's got um, more detailing on his ears, all his um, different markings, all the way down to his tail. So that is our stitch. This one's gonna be because we feel something large, sort of. And ooh, a new one that I do not have yet, and that is the alien. Now, the alien is from hasn't changed from the um, Toy Story 3 series, I believe. Um, 
I think he's just got a little bit more updated um, detailing and printing. I think the face might look like the, the printing on the face might be a little bit different. But um, so as you can see, because you can't see with um, the black plate, is he has um, different color. He's got the printing on his shoes. For, for his shoes, he has the printed top with the uh, little satin, I guess you could say, plant because he is from, I believe, Planet Express. No, I can't remember. It's the Planet Pizza. Maybe it's Planet Pizza or something. I can't remember now. And he does have a little bit of printing on the back. So um, this shirt is pretty cool if you want to add him to, like, I don't know, a space theme or something like that. Just have to change maybe the arms around a bit. But that is our alien. So um, I've been really pleased with this series. Um, I've only just really started collecting minifigs. I actually have a whole bunch of mail that I need to open that I'd love to open for you guys so that you can see uh, what I've been collecting and getting um, in the ways of minifigs. So when we open up this one, we've got another Mickey. So um, we opened Mickey up as um, in the last video as well. So, but Mickey is just too good not to have a double of. So he has the most adorable little pants. He has mold, jewel molding legs as well as when you look around you can see that he's got the jewel molded legs. Um, I think he's probably one of my le I don't know, one of my least favourites, I think. I don't know. He's grown on me a lot though. Um, he's more in the he's more in like the the, the, the bottom end of the scale just because he is so basic but his, his face has, has grown on me quite a bit compared to when I first saw all these um, new fix coming out. I absolutely hated every single one of the um, jewel, sorry, the molded heads except for the stitch. Um, but he's definitely grown on me and I actually enjoy them. It's not like I hate all of the, any of these, I really like all of them, but yeah, it was more, nah, he was more on the bottom scale out of all of these compared to some of the others, so, <laughs> but yeah, I do love all, every single one of these figures, which is pleasing. Ooh, another, another molded head figure, which is one of the ones I didn't think I would like, and then I loved. So this is the Cheshire Cat. Now you, um, I noticed this when um, my friend, as I said, um, that's Wildfire Next again. Um, when I watched her video, you need to put the tail up. Um, he does, the tail does not go down because the tail is too long. Um, his tail is definitely, as you can see, well, I don't know if you really see, his tail goes past his legs. So you definitely need to put his tail up because otherwise he's not going to be able to stand up. I absolutely love his torso piece. Um, just the striping is just magnificent and after seeing him, after opening up my first Cheshire Cat and seeing his face I'm just like you know what nah I love him he's absolutely gorgeous as you can see here look at his smile he's just so happy as I said I love the striping on his torso and his arms like he's only got one stripe um, on his legs but it doesn't matter He's got all the striping on his arms and, leg, uh, and on his torso, and his face is just too cute to poot. So, <laughs> so we've got that one there. And, ooh, this one feels like a big one. It's just like I'm dreading when I get Maleficent because I know her um, as Maleficent. How did I guess? Probably because I felt the big um, 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 slant piece. I love Maleficent, but damn, these, um, these cake pieces are just ugh, the bane of my existence. Okay, okay, well that was the easiest um, cape, cape I've put on in a long time. I think the last one that I put together um, that was the worst was probably maybe The King, but um, from series um, 13. He was horrible, <laughs> but that's okay. Oh, now you gotta be careful with um, Maleficent. She is a type. Oh, with her um, slanted um, 
piece for her legs um, because the leg pieces normally have like a deeper um, groove in. Um, she will pop apart occasionally like she just did when I was trying to um, put her scepter on. Um, so that is Maleficent. I absolutely love her um, horn piece. Um, that is a, like a, a molded rubber. Um, I love her face and the skin colour of her hands is just amazing. Uh, I really, really like the colour. It's like this almost like really light baby green colour. Like super light. It's like a, yeah, like a greeny blue colour almost. And her face is just, don't mess with her. I love the, I love the makeup job that they've given her. She looks absolutely good. Um, she's one of my favourites. She's probably my second favourite um, villainess. Um, whereas Ursula is my number one. And that is... Now, good to get something that I haven't got yet. So let's hope for this one. And it's one I don't have yet, which is yay, magnificent. So that is, that is weird. <laughs> so, okay, so this is Captain Hook. When I saw him, I was just like, oh my god, yes. Um, he is just too good not to have in this collection. rapiers. They're just a little bit of a pain in the ass to get in the hands. Oh, come on, man. Get in there. There we go. Just get that in there oh, before we put, put him all together. Now, his hair slash um, hat piece is just magnificent. Looks like he's also got dual molded legs like a lot of these guys. So, this is Captain Hook. Look at that hair. Um, look at this hair hair slash hat piece. It's absolutely huge and it's beautiful. I've never seen a hat, a hat slash hair piece like this in Lego form. It's just amazing. I love his villainous smile. Um, his like, I think that's a cravat? I can't remember. Um, down to his cloak. Um, as you can see there, it's his, oops, losing him now. Um, down to his uh, feet. sash across him with uh, two golden buttons. Um, he's got, and I forgot to almost mention his hook. Cut. He's not hook without his hook. As you can see, absolutely perfect. He is really, really good um, character to have in this. I love that this um, set has not just the heroes, but also the villains, because the villains are what make these movies. So that is Captain Hook. Now we'll go on to the next one, and I think I know what this one is going to be. This is going to be Ursula. Ursula is my favourite um, character out of this set, not just because she is my favourite villain, um, but just because of her body piece, like her, her leg piece I should say. Plus her face is magnificent, plus her hair is too freaking amazing. Um, I had my friend over yesterday and she was looking at the ones I had already um, opened and she said that that would, um, that um, the Ursula would make a perfect drag queen um, minifigure. I'm like, yeah it would. <laughs> now, um, as you can see, um, I know I've mentioned this in the, you do get, uh, she has six tentacles down here and two arms which obviously make her octopus. Her hair piece is just magnificent, her face is magnificent, she's got her shell, um, and she keeps Ariel's voice in, her body piece just, her body piece is just too amazing, I've never seen Lego go this overboard, I guess you could say with a minifigure, but you just had to for Ursula, it's just so perfect. So that is our Ursula. So we've got seven left, that means a lot that I still haven't actually, um, still a lot that I haven't actually gotten yet. So I know that all of these I will get one of each, <laughs> um, but yeah, 
it's good that most of these last ones will be um, ones I haven't actually gotten yet. So this is Aladdin. Um, when I saw that they were doing Aladdin and the Genie, I'm just like, that is really, really good. Um, I love this Aladdin though, just with his fez. Um, I love the skin colour that they've given him. Like, it's just perfect. Um, and just like his shirt and his pants with a little tiny patch on them. But look at his cheeky face, it's just so cute. And his hair piece with his fez is just perfect. I will say I wish that they gave him like a poo um, or the carpet. I can understand why they've given him the lamp, but yeah, with, um, with the genie having a lamp, um, it kind of defeats the purpose. So I feel like one of them should have not had the lamp, the lamp and maybe say Aladdin have a poo or say um, the genie have um, like a magic carpet or something like that. So very cute. I love Aladdin. Um, love that movie a lot and I'm glad that they put them in the set. I love that they put actually a lot of like older movies that you know may, may not get a lot of love like um, like some of the new ones like say Frozen which is just gets a little bit more like like is a bit more overkill with everything with all the merchandise of Disney but um, I love that they've given some of these older franchises and movies um, a lot more love because, you know, they need love too. <laughs> oh, and there goes a Peter Pan's head. Okay, so we've got now our Peter Pan, which I love. Oh, he's got dual more legs too with printing over the top, which is oh, so good. Peter Pan's face is perfect. And I love his little hair hat piece with his little ears. Because um, cause Peter Pan, he may be a boy originally, but he's got elf ears, so he's really a pixie or an elf or something, because he's got little, he's just so cute. Well, yeah, that's the thing, Peter Pan's supposed to be a, um, a normal boy, uh, he's got dual molded arms too with actual printing um, for the little zigzaggy part, it's just pretty cute, I just noticed that. Come on. I've got cat hair <laughs> in him. They, they make 
make a lot of mermaids, they've made quite a number of mermaids and they've always been super popular so I'm glad that they made another mermaid but, um, in this collection. Now do you think that they will actually make another, um, another like Farm Disney series because I hope so, but what do you guys think? Do you, oh, do you think that they will have another collection or do you think they'll go on to something else like Star, like do a Star Wars series or something like that? Okay, so this is Syndrome. Now, um, I'm not a, I'm not a fan really of the Incredible series. I've watched it once and never really watched it again. Tell me if I should, because or try and give it a bit more of a chance, I guess, um, if you think that I should or not. Because, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't watch a lot of movies. Um, I don't watch a lot of newer stuff. I normally stick to what I know. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, let me know um, what you think of The Incredibles and maybe I'll, I'll watch it again and see if I'll give it another shot. Because <laughs> I only saw it when it first came out. But this is Syndrome. He is the villain. And he's got some plans. And I can't remember what that's called because it's been a long time, as I said, since I watched this movie. But his, his fiery red hair piece is pretty cool. I do actually love his um, blue eyes.
which is absolutely adorable. She's also got um, jewel molded arms. I know I keep repeating myself, but she does. <laughs> not everyone has jewel molded arms, not everyone has jewel molded legs. This one definitely does not have jewel molded legs. But um, before I show you, you can see the apron and it comes around here because she's actually got quite a, quite a large head piece, so, um, hair piece, so I didn't want to like hide it from you so you couldn't see. Hair is magnificent. I just want lots of her hair. It's so cute and beautiful. Now she also has a drink me, which I believe makes it maybe maybe it makes it so. And she also has a cake, uh, which I believe would have to be the. Saying, but I wouldn't be surprised if that is the case because that was that would be what I would assume. Oh, come on, get on a hand. I hate these little tiny. Oh no, she's breaking apart. <laughs> come on, all I need you to do is get on. Oh, I got her hand up the right hand. Her hands up the right way. These little tiny tile pieces are so. I gotta put on the on the on here so much easier and I don't know what I'm doing so obviously so yeah it's so good to see Alice in person she's absolutely like, she I can't remember if she was my top pick I think oh I'm pretty sure Alice was my top pick but I think she might have been like number two because she just looks so good I've always had a fascination with Alice in Wonderland so I think she's absolutely beautiful and I love that she comes with bottle and the little cookie and it's just it's like good look at it you can't see because the light in here is horrible but that's okay because I, I, I've got a shit set up so I do apologize but I like to talk to you guys and that sort of stuff so that's so yeah this is it for finally completing our um, Dizzy minifigs collection. Let's hope, let's have our fingers crossed that they make another one of these um, collections because there's so many more figures they could make. Um, let me, as I said, let me know in the comments below what um, your favourite minifig was out of this series. Um, click that like button. Uh, sorry, give us a thumbs up if you like this video and if you want to keep updated with more Lego related and toy and gaming and all that sort of stuff um, videos, click the subscribe button below. But thank you very much my lovelies and we'll see you in the next Nerd Adventures. Bye!